So in this demo, I'm going to show you how to use Apple's Logic Pro 10 to set up a song that has chord changes in it. Now, in order to do this, it's a lot easier if you know the structure of the song that you want to write for, as opposed to composing on the fly. For this demo, I'm going to use a really simple 1-4-5 chord structure. So first, I want to find some loops that I want to use. So I'm going to use some guitar loops. Here's the one I want. I'm going to drag it onto my song. Now, the structure that I want to use is one, uh, C, F, G, C. So those are the chords that I want to program into this song. C, F, G, C. So there's a C chord right there. Let's mute this track. Okay, and see what it sounds like. So it's just a really simple guitar part. Okay, now I want that four I want four measures of that. Oops. One, two, three, four. So I want this to be C F G C. Let's see what it sounds like right now. Now, one thing I need to do is I need to make sure that this is at 0 dB. Now I want to create copies of those loops to use when the chords change to F and G. Here's how. Change the master key signature of the entire project to the key of F. Now, of course, all the loops are going to play in the key of F. But here's the trick we bounce in place each of the loops to make a copy in the new key. I'm going to save it with the name F at the end so I can keep track of which loop is which. Make sure the Leave Original and Save to a New Track are selected. Now we have a copy of the loop in the key of F. Do the same for the G chord. Change the key signature to G and bounce in place to make a new loop. Before changing the key signature of the song, make sure the playhead is back at the home position. Now that we have our F and G versions, I change the entire song back to the original key of C. Move my transposed copies onto tracks in the proper location. and get rid of the extra tracks. Now the song plays C, F, G, just like I want. I can now make copies of the new loops, arrange them into my song structure any way I want. I can drag them out for multiple measures, make copies of them. They're just like regular loops. I know this is a real hassle. It doesn't lend itself to experimenting and composing, but it works if I already know the structure of the song I'm working with. Thanks for watching.